वेलकम टू ट्यूसडे टेक्निकल टॉक Today's topic is momentum. Now, momentum is a very important factor in the market when you are trading. Now, what does momentum stand for? Momentum is basically speed. Now, when we talk about speed, what does come to your mind when you look at uh, when you are driving your car? You have a speedometer. Now, speedometer tells you whether you are what speed you are going. Let's say you are going uh, in a car which has zero to two forty kilometers. You are going at twenty. You are going slow. You are going at 200. You are going fast. You are going at 60. You are going medium. In the same way, we have speedometers which tells us the market whether going bullish, bearish, or sideways. Right. So speed is distance upon time. Now, when you have momentum indicator, which is momentum is up, the markets persist. They keep going up. Like they keep going fast. When the momentum resists or momentum is down, when the speed comes down, like when you want to take a U-turn, first you slow down your car and then take a U-turn. In the same way, when the market has to turn, it will slow down the momentum, which is slow down the speed and then take a reversal, right? And then you have momentum indicator is basically a trend anticipator. What does it mean? Like it tells you in advance that now the speed is going high, it will continue because it will remain in momentum for some time. And you can predict that it, you, you can predict the market to a certain extent where you can trade and make money out of it, right? And it is measured through oscillators. Now, we have a speedometer in car, like we have oscillators in the market. Now, there are different types of oscillators. So, let's talk about a couple of oscillators which are like uh, banded oscillators and non banded oscillators, or called the centered oscillators. What are this banded? So if you look at uh, your speedometer, it's banded 0 to 240 or 0 to 360. Now let's talk about a non-banded oscillator, something called as MACD. MACD is very popular, moving average convergence divergence. Now if you see it's a zero line or a center line and it goes positive, it goes negative, it goes positive, negative, right? So this is called non-banded or centered oscillator. Right. We'll have a detailed video on maybe different oscillators in a separate video. But here I'm talking about the basics of oscillators. So you understand how to use them. Right. The second one is the banded oscillator. You look at stochastic. One of the popular stochastic or uh, fast moving oscillators is going up and down between 0 to 100. And my favorite is RSI, which is between 0 to 100. And that is where a banded oscillator is. Now you must be see you must have seen my lot of RSI videos. I, I'm known for RSI and I like to master one particular thing and that is what I'm working on since last 12 to 14 years on RSI. So most of my programs, most of my videos, most of my analysis depends on RSI. So we'll be doing separate videos maybe on RSI in a different way and maybe RSI itself will have several things to cover like the divergence, the reverse divergence, the range and bullish and bearish and everything right but here we first understand what is basic principle of momentum now where is this uh, pr uh, momentum being derived from it can be derived from price it can be derived from volume also let me show you the three types of oscillators the price oscillator the volume oscillator and the breadth oscillator so earlier whatever we saw like rsi stochastic and macd all are price oscillator so the calculation is done on price. If the price moves up, the oscillator will move up. If the price moves down, the oscillator will move down. So that's price oscillator. Then you have a volume oscillator and a breadth oscillator. These are not so popular, not, not many people use it. Even I don't use most of it. But let's see what it means. Like this is the price oscillator which I showed you. Then look at this on balance volume is a volume oscillator. It depends on if the market goes high with high volume, the oscillator will move according to the volume. And there is something called as breadth oscillator. What do you mean by breadth? Breadth is the number of advance versus decline. You must be seeing the ticker tape on your television on, on NBC channels and where you see advanced number of stocks advancing to number of stocks declining. So this is like number of stocks advance and decline on NSC. And you can see that, okay, advances are high, the de declines are lower. And this itself is an oscillator. This tells you that markets are getting stronger. Why? Because number of stocks going up is getting higher and the number of stocks going down is getting lower. And here the markets are weak. Here the markets are strong. Here they are in between. So this is another oscillator, right? So this is basics of oscillators and momentum indicators, which are, there are tons of them. Tons of oscillators available in the market on your software in the free websites. But my suggestion is you go deeper into one of them. 
right? Learn everything about that and then master it. There was a time when I was using all these oscillators together like MACD, Stochastic, RSI, ADX, everything together. And I think I'm doing something great. But ultimately I realized that it's a collinear trap because everything is coming from the price. Then I mastered only one, which is RSI. In all my programs and videos, as I said, we use RSI. So we'll do a separate series of videos on RSI. I hope you like this video on oscillators. Make sure you like and share and comment. And what did you learn? What was your aha moment? And I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, good luck and good trading.